This year marks the 70th birthday of our NHS and it's an opportunity for all of us to celebrate our most cherished public service. All those years ago, this was an innovative and pioneering move in a country still feeling the effects of the Second World War. Our health service was born of a national determination that the country we would rebuild after the ravages of war would be a fairer, more civilised nation. As times have moved on, we've harnessed advances in science and technology to improve treatments and make our health service truly world class. Having invested in tech startups and campaigned in Parliament for more funding for NHS technology, I'm now working with the government to make sure we use technologies and innovations like artificial intelligence, big data and robotics to improve patient care. This hospital has been a pioneer in using technology to help our doctors and nurses to communicate more effectively with an app called Medic Bleep. I'm meeting with trauma practitioner Helen Bolton to find out more. That's Medic Bleep. It's an instant messenger. The good thing about this is it's all encrypted, so nobody else can look at the confidential information. It's wonderful. Normally, um, we would pick up phones and talk to one another or bleep one another. So with our new system, Medic Bleep, I was stood beside a patient ready for discharge and we needed the doctor's advice for that patient to go home. So we got the answer there and then, reducing half an hour. Great stuff. So what are the new technologies are you using in the hospital? So we use electronic patient records. Before, we would have to manually input all of the information and now you put the blood pressure cuff on the patient. Take a patient's vital signs, so their blood pressure, their pulse, and then that will upload onto the computer system. Tomorrow's technology-driven healthcare is already here, making early diagnosis more likely and care safer and more accurate. For the first time, the NHS has plans to allow online booking for hospital appointments, but there are so many more opportunities technology can offer that we have yet to tap into. So to mark this 70th birthday of our health service, the Prime Minister has launched a new long-term plan for the NHS and announced the biggest funding boost in the NHS's history. The NHS budget will increase by 20.5 billion a year by 2023-24, with more than 400 million pounds going towards new technology in hospitals. Now is the moment to set our sights on the NHS being the most cutting edge system in the world for the use of technology to improve our health, make our lives easier and make our money go further.